It has been a fun-filled but exhausting week at King of the Hammers. We are headed back and we got a call. We're going after a charger that is stuck in the sand in the Babylon Mill area. We are in blue steel and we have the wrecker in tow. We got the lovely Jamie with weather. It's like 60 degrees outside and there's a breeze. And you're annoyed. Tell them why you're annoyed. Because I have people coming to my house that I have to feed at 430 and it's like three o'clock and I don't have enough time to get all of my food ready. So it's the weekend, everybody has their time off. Um, of course, the business owner and boss Jamie doesn't get any time off. True story. So we did a couple of rescues. One rescue for sure down at Johnson Valley. And then another little winch out where we helped there on the back door. Getting him out of the hole. Fun. But this is the first job for the heavy wrecker on its native soil. From the pictures, I don't think it needs the heavy wrecker. <laughs> it doesn't, but that's what we're driving blue steel, pulling the heavy wrecker. That's why we're taking it. I hope it's got enough recovery gear. I know it has a rope Does and it? a shackle. Okay. Unless someone took it out. Let's go get this. Hydrating. Hydrated. Okay, jump in it. I guess the camera fell over. I wasn't doing my job. This is a really pretty area down here. There's several really neat hikes and there's the river and swimming down here. So it's a real popular place for tourists to come and check out when they're in this area. But it lures them in here with their rental cars and then traps them because it is not rental car friendly. This is the trailhead for uh, Elephant Arch. Is that, no, no Elephant Arch. Some Arch down there. Babylon Arch. Oh, it's Babylon Arch. That makes sense. Elephant Arch is on the other side of the county. Oh, look. Your destination is on the right. Here it is. Holy Toledo. Yeah, I think you are going to have to winch. All right. Where are the keys for it? Where are the keys? She's supposed to be here. Let me go see. Bumper is touching. Yep, we're gonna need the key. We're gonna be doing the wheel on this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in reverse. I'm going to turn the wheels this way and we're going to pull the front end around real gentle while we back up right there. How do I look? Why do you think you look good in those? Good. Tell me how it's looking. There's a pile of rocks back there. Okay, you're good still. 
got a pretty aggressive shelf to climb up here. Well, maybe you can just drive it out. Yeah, we should get, at least get it up to that road. Let's run this in, and then you jump in that truck and turn it around right here and drive up there. here and back down. You got lots of options. You'll know which way to turn the steering wheel, right? Yeah. So I'll just tell you which way to push the switch. We made it up the shelf. You gotta get back to Vegas to make your flight? Uh, no, uh, to St. George. Oh, okay. And I'm taking to Solid City. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We can just get you yeah. right here, you're good. Perfect. And you're so, and you're um, just heading out right now? Uh, yeah, I'm trying okay. to get out because I don't think I can afford it to get stuck again. <laughs> yeah, well, let's drive you out. Let's get you, you out sure? of here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I mean. No, it's okay. It's absolutely okay. Okay, drive safe. All right, we got that done. Now Jamie's gonna drive it on the trailer. We're all still trying to figure out the rear steer, but Jamie especially is. Turn your thumb. You gotta let me turn myself around by myself a few times so I can figure out the I just have to look out the window to do it. We already talked about that. What? We're all learning the rear steer, but Jamie especially. <laughs> I have to look at the wheels so I know which way I have to turn which thing. But if you would have left me alone for a minute, I would have had it turned around. I was in the, going in the right direction. Yeah. Maybe just not far enough. Isn't she great? I think she's great. Okay, we're late for a dinner that you... That, that I you're, have to cook. That you're cooking. We better hurry. All right, I'm gonna get this strapped down. That job was super easy. This was way, way, way overkill. We brought a battleship to a knife fight, but it was what was on the trailer at the house. And, and I was, was super fun. excited. I wanted to try it. Our good buddy Marvin Stamel's here. He's driving across the country in a Toyota and he's having some problems with it. We are gonna let him come in here. We're gonna work on it for a second. It immediately started sputtering. Like it's gonna kill it. Let's take it for a drive. I'm thinking that it's running out of gas. I'm guessing there's a restriction between the fuel pump and the tank. We're gonna go back and check it out and see if we can get this running right. We're gonna test again, see if we made it worse or better. We got it fixed. I think Matt just has, I don't know, some magic fingers or something. So we got a call for a vehicle that is stuck out here in the Green Springs area. Pretty popular spot for people to be getting stuck lately. We're going to head out here and see if we can get it out. It is early in the morning. We're letting the crew sleep in. But Rhett decided to get up and help, and he's got the weather. Um, it's cold out there. It's mostly cloudy, and there's little snowflakes falling. Probably like... 33 degrees just, but we'll get them out. Peanut, how you doing, girl? Who's a good girl? Down this one facing up. Okay, well jump in, let's go get it. All right. Get out, Peanut, come on, jump out. This is 
not going to be pulling very hard. Okay, go ahead and jump in it. Don't overrun the rope. We'll just pull you right here to where it's level, and you should be able to join up. Right, no keep it tight. Yep, just keep it tight. Like I said, you're not going to have to help a ton. Yeah, yeah. Put it in drive. I guess it's only two wheel drive, so we're gonna go all the way to the top. What do you think, Brett? I don't know what I think. It's definitely cold out there. And I got the hiccups. Oh, do you? Yeah. We don't need to go this far, but we're going this far because we're just going to take them back to their truck. So we only have one stop instead of two. I know you didn't need it this far, but I'm like, we're just yeah, doing one, one stop yeah. instead of two. Yeah, just a two wheel. I didn't realize it was a two wheel drive truck. Yeah, well, we took her out to uh, New Harmony the other day, and she handled the mud really well, but... Yeah. Well, what size shirt do you want? Oh, dang. Uh... Right there. Awesome. There you go. Right. Thanks, sir. Okay, you guys have a great day. All right, that was a really simple job. We just found them, hooked up to them, pulled them back to safety, and now we're going to go do the next thing. Thanks for watching. All right, Jamie, you've had a little bit of seat time in the wrecker. I would like to hear your driving impressions. It drives super good. You just give it gas and point it and it goes anywhere you want it to go. I just it have to figure out the steering.